strength with with them um, with with what they what they try and do with getting the ball wide and get it into box and just just play percentage football. We knew that was coming. So you know, we, 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 and again, when you kind of go four nil up, you're, you're obviously get one eye on what's what's happening next. So. You know the boys kept digging in, and of course we're, we're going to get dreamed, uh, whether it's a cup tie, it's a cup final as such. You know, because to, to, you've got to win it to go to the next one. And um, you know, we're, we're, we are naturally going to get deeper and deeper. But when we did break into their half, I mean, some of the goals we've scored tonight are absolutely sensational. And the the boys, I mean, that's 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 one of the best performances I've seen from them this season. Every single one of them wanted it. Every single one of them ran themselves into the ground. Even the boys coming on, and you know, I'm absolutely delighted to have that group of boys, and absolutely delighted that we've got Monday's game coming up. You did mention on Saturday afternoon after that game at Kidlington that uh, you thought Corby Town had turned a corner. They were back to playing the football that you expected from them. And tonight you've had one player that's been uh, involved in every goal that Corby have scored, and that's Jordan Crawford. Yeah, you look at you look at Jordan maybe maybe four or five weeks ago and you're kind of you're, you're, you're kind of trying to get him on to, to, to give his performances and then he, he, he pops up a couple of weeks ago with that sensational goal where he cuts in on his right foot and puts it in the, 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 the top corner the other day and I think that brought him to life I think that's brought Jordan to life I think since that goal the boy's been absolutely fantastic he's been absolutely bang on he works hard he, he, he's starting to use the ball in the right areas and he's, he's, he's becoming a real threat in that final third now, which is what we've been wanting from him for a long, old time. So, yeah, I mean, he's he's he's, he's fantastic. And then obviously Sandy popping up another two goals, digging, scoring, and assisting a couple of goals as well. And you know, I thought Gary Mulligan was, was absolutely fantastic at the back as well. And um, I, I, yeah, look, it's, it's very difficult to pick one man out tonight because I thought even Dan George's goal was fantastic. You know, to a man, every one of them was absolutely fantastic. The other game is currently still being played. It ended at 90 minutes two apiece. So we don't know who we we're going to be playing on Monday, or of course, at this moment in time, where we're going to be playing on Monday. Does it matter to you? Not really. I mean, we we, we know what we can do. We've we've played them. We've, we've played uh, Bromsgrove three times. We've played uh, uh, Suncoldfield twice. So we know what we're going to expect from whichever one. We've got plenty of time. You know, we'll get finished in the next half hour, forty minutes, and then we we start preparing for that. And we'll pre whichever one we've got, whatever it's going to be, we'll prepare for that. And. And, and, and we've got plenty of time to do it. So, you know, it, 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 it's, 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 you know, it's not irrelevant of who we're playing, but for us, we just go into Monday and it's about what we do. And if we turn up and we perform like we did, especially with that first 50, 60 minutes today, we'll look okay. Of course, this is the first playoff final Corby have ever been involved in as a club. It's good for the crowd, it's good for the fans, it's good for the team, isn't it? Look, there's a, there's a couple of things here to be honest. The support we've had this season has been really, really second, second to second to none. Um, you know, the, over 700 here tonight, and in, in a, a wet, a, a very wet game when there's Champions League semi-finals on. That's support for you. That is that's backing the town. That's backing the football club. And I'll tell you something else. That football pitch doesn't look like that for nothing. You know, because those guys this week, I've been here every day this week. And those guys have broke their back, those ground staff, you know, there's there's four or five of them in, in the, the, the ground staff cabin there that I've got to take my hat off to because that playing surface was absolutely fantastic. It's it's May, just about May, you know, I think yeah, May today. And that is looking absolutely unbelievable. And I've got to I've got to really thank all the supporters that are coming back us and are going to come back it's come Monday. And I've got to thank the ground staff for putting a putting a, a, a pitch out there that we can go and display and play our football on. And that's why we get such a good game of football tonight because we had a surface that we can go and play on. Steve, you thank everybody else. We thank you. Great performance tonight. Well done. Congratulations. Cheers, thank you.